Hello everybody, Alex here from the Football Guys here to talk about three buy low players for week 13. And that starts with Zonovan Knight, who is maybe the Jets running back one for the rest of the year. Michael Carter slowly sprained his ankle last week. He's probably going to miss at least this week, but maybe beyond. But Zonovan Knight came in with for just 48% of the snaps and was absolutely fantastic. He is an undrafted rookie, but in his first game that he played over 40% of the snaps, he forced nine missed tackles. And beyond these nine missed tackles, he also had a ridiculous top 5% elusiveness rating back in college. He was absolutely elite at making people miss all over the field. And when you combine the fact that he was elusive in college, and then his first game that he comes in and plays a lot of snaps, he has nine missed tackles. That's obviously huge for this Jets running team that has not ran the ball well since Brees Hall got hurt. I know that Michael Carter has been okay as a replacement, but this is still a team that made James Robinson inactive after trading for him to play Zonovan Knight, which means that they have no loyalty to anyone and that if he is the best running back in this backfield, he could take over down the stretch. And as we've seen, this is a completely different offense now with Mike White at quarterback than Zach Wilson. As long as it's either Mike White or Joe Flacco, I think this offense is going to be so much better. And Zonovan Knight has a real chance to take over as the running back one. Is it likely? Maybe not. But if you can still get him for free on your waiver wire, he's someone I am definitely trying to add in every single league. Another guy that I think at this point is a huge buy low in fantasy football is Deshaun Watson. I know. People don't like Deshaun Watson, the person, but when he is on the football field, he has been very, very productive, averaging a career 22.7 fantasy points per game in his career. He still has a top 10 wide receiver in fantasy in Amari Cooper and a top 10 running back in Nick Chubb. He is one of the easiest fantasy playoff schedules and he is still available in over 50% of ESPN leagues. I would definitely be looking to pick him up as he is due back this week against the Houston Texans. And the last guy that might be the cheapest wide receiver one in fantasy football is Marquise Brown. And Marquise Brown was a top eight wide receiver in fantasy football before he got hurt. In his first game back, while competing with DeAndre Hopkins, he commanded a ridiculous 31% target share in a game that he was supposed to be on a snap count. Not only that, but he saw a 97% route participation. He was on the field for pretty much every passing play. He also plays in one of the fastest paced teams in the NFL in the Cardinals. And maybe that my favorite part about Marquise Brown is his final matchups in the playoffs in week 16 and 17. He plays the Tampa Bay Bucks and gets a dream matchup in the final week against the Atlanta Falcons. The Bucks gonna be a high scoring game. They're not great against wide receivers. And then he plays Atlanta in the final week who is a top three worst team against wide receivers in all of fantasy football. It's gonna be huge for Marquise Brown. These are all players that I think are gonna be great for this year. I think that we should all be thinking about them in our fantasy leagues if we can still make a move. But that is it for these three buy low players. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and drop all your trade questions down below. We're going to try to get to as many as we possibly can. But don't forget to keep enjoying that Football Guys content coming out each and every single day.